Okay, so last time I covered an overview of how to use the GoPro camera and how I use my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. And this time I wanna talk about how to use the GoPro app. Now I have an iPhone, of course, as you can see here, but the app is also available on Android and Windows phones, I believe, although I have never ever used those phones before and I um, definitely have not used them with the GoPro app. So this is your app here. You have to have a GoPro that connects to Wi-Fi in order for this to work. So to turn your Wi-Fi on, you have a little button on the side and you just wanna press that. And you'll have the little wireless symbol right there that'll let you know that it's on. So when you first set up the Wi-Fi on your GoPro, you're gonna have to select a wireless name so that you know, so that you can connect it to your phone. And it's just like connecting it to a regular Wi-Fi network um, on your phone. I call my network GoPro Mom. And um, so once it's connected on there and um, we've got it all set up, we're good to go. We can just open up the GoPro app and up, I don't do anything with this stuff down here, but up here you have connect and control and that's gonna connect to the camera so that you can control the camera. Now, as you can see, you can see me up here, hi. Um, so, um, and that's right here is the camera that I'm shooting the video on. So, cause this, obviously the GoPro is facing up right now. So what this tells you up here is um, your resolution, you have your frame rate and your, um, we're on the wide setting, um, gives you your battery power and you the strength of your wireless signal. And um, down here, this is like your shutter button. And over here is where you can access the albums of the stuff that is on your GoPro on the SD card. Right here, you can change your shooting mode, you know, from photo to video. It's super easy that way and then the wrench is where all of the settings are so as you can see um, it's a lot easier to go through your settings here on your phone than it is to go through all of the settings by just pressing the buttons on the GoPro so you have your video resolution here um, I shared my last video that I usually keep mine on 1080 and you can change your frames per second. You can go through all of these and change anything you want. It's so easy. So, 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 so much easier than doing it on the camera. One of my favorite things with the app is it gives you an actual number for the battery level. That's really convenient. And also gives you your SD card capacity. Now, if you ever um, you lose your GoPro or you just can't find it in your house or um, if you're like me and you put it on top of your car with a suction cup and it flew off, you have to check out that video. But you can actually locate your camera by turning this thing on and the camera will beep so you can um, just kind of like like search around your house if you've ever lost your phone and used the um, find my phone app it works kind of like that although I will tell you that beep is not it's not as loud as it seems and if you're outside trying to find your camera in a ditch for example um, it's it's really really difficult to hear all right so that's the settings Probably the best feature of the app is that you can use it as a viewfinder. So like this is out my front window here. And if I turn this, then it gives me the full um, view that the camera has. So you can see what you're doing. You can set up your shot. It's really, it's really, really great. Very convenient. And then you, as long as you're not recording, you can change your settings and stuff from here, you know, when you're in landscape mode. So once you've recorded some things and you have some files on your SD card, um, you can access those things on, you know, in your gallery. And um, it does depend on the resolution of what you shot in. Um, like I said, I use 1080 most of the time, so um, I have no problem accessing those files on my phone. But if you use a super high resolution, your phone just can't handle it and you really can't do anything on your phone with those files so you can view them here you can see what you shot um you can view these are just pictures we're playing around um you can go through whatever 
whatever you've got on there and then you can save these files right to your phone or you can delete them right off the card so if you just hit that little button up there you can save it to your GoPro album on your phone so once they're on your phone of course you can you can post them anywhere you want Instagram Twitter Facebook you, you can do whatever you want to do with them from there 